and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, it's another review of a fairly new foundation and it's a powder foundation from Makeup Forever. This is the Makeup Forever's HD Skin Matte Velvet Foundation. So this is a reformulation, I believe, of the old formula. In size, they look very much alike and the only change that I can see is the packaging. This costs 54 Canadian dollars for 11 grams and when it comes to its claims, it claims to be a powerful foundation that is back with an even silkier texture that melts into the skin for undetectable all day wear with no caking or creasing. It provides customizable coverage and is more versatile than ever. You can use it as a buildable foundation, setting powder, or for touch-ups. It also claims to be waterproof and sweat-proof and locks in hydration for maximum comfort. It also claims to modify for up to 24 hours for a natural, real skin finish. I have oily combination skin. I'm oily on my T-zone, dry on some other parts. I have hyperpigmentation on the side of my cheeks, and I have big pores on the side of my cheeks. So, so those are mostly my concerns. Now let's see how this foundation performs on my skin. As usual, I'm going to prime my face with the NYX Plump Bright Back Serum. This is a little grip to it, so I'm not going to let it dry before putting on the foundation so that it really grips onto my skin. On the Sephora's website, this one has 32 shades and it shows the shade 1Y18, which is described as warm cashew for light skin tones with yellow undertones. So this is how the foundation looks like. It really looks like the old formula. On the old formula, I was in the shade Y235, which is far from 18. This is how they look like side by side. This is the old formula. This is the new one. When it comes to size and packaging, very, very identical. So let's start on my right side. I remember not really liking this sponge. I like to use a brush better. But let's see. It also has the same sponge as the old formula. It has this velvet fuzzy side and then just like a normal sponge side. So let's use the fuzzy side and let's go from here. Oh wow. That is very close to my skin tone. I love it. And it looks very natural and very velvety. Let's do more. And the reason I'm doing this motion instead of like swiping down is because I saw something on TikTok by Rose Bean. I mean if I said her name wrong, but she said that this is the best way to apply it. And when I do airbrush on my clients, it's also the way I apply the foundation. I go this way instead of by section going down. So I think it actually works. That application doing that kind of um, a moon shape application but on this side I'm going to do this and then she said to apply the powder under the eyes you just need to tap so this is one layer of the foundation compared to the one without it was very satiny like it's really smooth on the face it's a very light coverage though with one layer. I can still see a lot of my hyperpigmentation, a lot of the redness. My skin is really still showing underneath. So I guess one layer is for when you want to set your foundation. But I'm going to do one more layer or maybe up to three just to see if we can get into a medium or full coverage. So this is the second layer. Oh wow. It's very buildable, I have to say. Now I'm getting into a more medium coverage. I don't know if it's because this shade is more suited for my skin tone that I appreciate this new formula more. I just feel like it's lighter than the old formula. Let me swatch it on my hand. 
so, so that's the old formula you can see that the new formula tends to be very light and can still see my skin underneath this one you can really see the foundation and when it comes to how it feels the new formula just feels very very smooth compared to the old formula i'm going to do one more layer to see if it can really hide my hyperpigmentation and the redness on my face yeah especially on the side of my nose because i'm very red there and then hyperpigmentation the thing with powder though if you put too much it will appear kind of cakey now that i'm on my third layer it's not as even as when i only have one and two layers like i can see that this has good coverage on this part the foundation really doesn't want to stick too much like i can see some unevenness it's quite tricky when you're layering this powder but this is how it looks like with three layers on besides the fact that i look a little uneven the coverage is really good can you see it really even up my skin tone i don't see a lot of redness anymore of course my hyperpigmentation is really hard to hide you have to color correct them first before you put the foundation but comparing it to the other side look how my hyperpigmentation looks like it actually is not too visible at all on this side i also like that it did blur out my pore comparing this side to this side like where are my pores it looks very smooth while still looking very skin like and i also like the shade that i chose the photos on the sephora website was very helpful and, and also when you go to the makeup forever site they also have some tips and tricks on how to get the right shade of foundation and i think that i got the perfect match i want to try using my brush on the left side let's see oh when i'm using my brush it applies very sheer i guess the brush is just for when you see some unevenness and you want to tap the powder on but to perfectly apply the foundation i like the fussy side i don't remember how much i love the old formula and if that's the case, that means I'm like 50-50 about it. But I'm really enjoying this new formula. I almost didn't want to get it because I'm like, what else could they change with this powder foundation? But I'm so happy that I tried it. Because right now I'm really enjoying how it feels on my face. I love the shade. I love how it blurs my pores and powder foundation is just so easy to work with compared to liquid foundation you can just put it in your makeup bag and you can touch up throughout the day with it with liquid foundation if you set it it's really hard to touch up after you have to touch up with powder but with this you can just layer and layer and then I'm just going to use my brush to really just blend everything together so far it's very true to its claim it's very lightweight it has a medium to almost full coverage it really blurred out the look of my pores it looks very natural it has that skin like finish it doesn't look like i'm wearing a heavy heavy makeup i can still see my skin through the foundation but the redness is gone so i really love that about this foundation so so before i do my full face let's just test if this is really waterproof i'm going to put a little drop of water here oh it doesn't want to drop it doesn't repel the water but it looks like it's like activating the foundation the foundation looks darker in tone where the water goes let's press and see definitely not waterproof it transferred the powder really transferred on my tissue you can see the line and you can see the watermark but the foundation is still there it's not like i can see my skin 
it's still the foundation. Let's see if I can just blend it with my finger. Oh yeah. I can blend it with my finger. But I can still see that mark. It changes the tone of the foundation when you kind of activate it with water. Oh no! Yeah. The foundation rubbed off where I initially put the water. So when it comes to its claim of being waterproof, it's not waterproof at all. Now that I'm putting powder on top, it's not sticking. I'm going to put my primer first, rub it in, and then put a e powder on top. Okay. Crisis averted, but do not use water on top because it is not waterproof. And it just shows that it really need a primer so that the foundation can really stick to your face. Because even if I swatch it like on my hand, see I don't see it. I don't see the foundation. So I don't think this foundation would sit too well if you don't put primer on your face first. So now I'm going to finish my face makeup off cam, have a little coffee, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I finished my makeup. I also fixed my hair. I feel like a new person. Every time I fix my hair, I rarely fix my hair, but really, really loving this. If you want a tutorial on how I do my hair, maybe I can do a video of that next time because what do you think? I look like I'm a new person, really. Anyways, back to the foundation. I put on my powder bronzer, powder blush, everything really blended so well on top of this powder foundation. And to be honest, it doesn't look like a powder foundation. It actually mimics a natural liquid foundation that was set with powder when it comes to coverage. And I still really like that it feels so satiny smooth on the face. I still really like how very light it feels on my face. It really feels like I have nothing on my face. So, so far it's very, very true to its claim except for the fact that it is not waterproof. But let's see how it looks like on photography. It also looks great on photos. It looks very natural on. So I'm, I'm going to wear this throughout the day and I'll be updating you on the 8 hour. 8 hour update and this is how my face is looking like on the 8 hour. I'm gonna go closer so you can have a closer look. I'm getting oily on the side of my cheeks, also on my forehead. A little of the foundation got rubbed off on the top of my nose. That's the area that I usually touch. And then on the side of my nose, I don't know if I just didn't reach it too well. I can see the redness peeking through like on that side and that side. And also where I have texture, I have a pimple here. It's a small bump and the foundation is not grabbing into that spot as well and even on this small spot here so on spots that are very bumpy it got rubbed off and remember the water that i put on my face i can really see that water mark over here now like that spot is missing the foundation but aside from that my foundation still has that medium coverage my blush and my bronzer are still on. I actually really love it now because it doesn't look powdery. It looks more natural with the oil peeking through. Because I'm not looking like a greasy mess, it looks like I just have glowing skin. So it did really help in controlling my oil. Now I'm going to use a blotting sheet. Let's see how oily I am now. very oily and let's see if the foundation is still there after blotting my oil. The foundation is still there after blotting my oil. So when using this powder, all you need is a blotting sheet or maybe just the powder itself. Just retouch yourself. Overall, I think that I will give this foundation a 4 out of 5 stars. One star is omitted because it claimed to be waterproof when it's not. 
but I really enjoyed using this powder foundation. I actually find myself always looking at the mirror and checking it because I can't believe that this coverage is actually coming from a powder foundation. It looks like I have like that natural finish liquid foundation and then I set it with powder. I appreciate that this product can be your liquid foundation and setting powder in one. It's really very versatile. With one swipe, you can have a light coverage. With two and three, you can go medium to full. And it's very, very light on the face. It didn't crease or cake. On initial application, when I was doing my second and third layer, I was thinking, okay, this is looking very powdery. I don't want this to look cakey. But after it sets, it actually looks better. Especially when my natural oil started to peek through. I loved it more because it looks more natural. And since this foundation is not moving, it's not creasing, even if I get a little oily, it still looks really good. I really love the new formula of Makeup Forever. I will be actually adding this to my personal makeup kit, especially because the bridal season is coming up and I just don't have the luxury of time super early in the morning to put on a liquid foundation and then set the foundation with powder. This would really speed up my makeup routine. Since the packaging is very slick, it's very slim, I can just put it in my purse so when I need to retouch, it's easier. I would recommend this to almost all skin types. May you be normal, oily, or dry. But if you have a lot of texture on your face, on the fourth hour and then the eighth hour, you can really see that foundation is not sticking to the bottom on my face. So if you have a lot of texture, I'm not sure that this would be good for you. If you have big pores like mine, you're still fine. But if you have a lot of bumps on your face, you have fresh acne on your face, I don't think that this will be a good foundation. But on my experience, I really, really enjoyed using this foundation. It's such a versatile product. I know it's quite pricey at 54 Canadian dollars for 11 grams, but a little goes a long way. So that ends my review of this Makeup Forever powder foundation. I hope that you find this video helpful and if you did please don't forget to like this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out we are now at the 11,000 subscriber mark thank you so so much guys for your support i really really appreciate it i really put a lot of effort into my content and, and having you supporting my content whether it be by commenting liking subscribing or sharing it to your friends i really really appreciate that so thank you so so much again dolls i'll see you in my next video